Hello and welcome to my screencast about how to create a Docker Wiki farm with virtual hosts. In here I will set up a local version of a farm on my local Windows machine so that it can later be transferred to a hosted live server. I will basically only follow what's described on dukuwiki.org slash farms. In here you will see that there are two different kinds of setups, but in this screencast I will only cover the virtual host based setup. So before we start, we need to make sure that a standard Docker Wiki installation already exists, which it does in here. And I've got it running on here. So the first step of creating a farm is creating a farm directory, which is as simple as that. It's just creating a directory called farm. Then you need to activate the farm. For that, you need to go into your Docker Wiki directory, then it's ink directory, and there you will find a file called preload.php.dist. Rename that to preload.php and open it in a plain text editor. You can use Notepad or anything else you prefer. I prefer Sublime. In here are two lines you need to uncomment. The first line is the definition of the farm directory so it's uh, it needs to have to include the path to the farm directory which is the directory directory we just created this one so we copy the path in here and the second line you need to uncomment is this line which includes farm.php which is basically um, includes all the code um, to make farms work. Save it and we'll go to the next step which is adding an animal. An animal is one child wiki instance of which you can have as many as you like and you need to download this zip file which is an animal directory template. Um, you need to copy it into your farm directory, then unzip it, and copy and rename it. But the way you need to rename it is important. Let's assume you own the domain example.com and you'd like to access your wiki under the subdomain wiki.example.com. Um, I very often like to distinguish between the live wiki and the wiki on your local machine, which I usually do with um, prefixing this with def. So that will be the URL that I will, I'd like to access my wiki on my local machine. So the animal directory needs to reflect that URL. I could simply paste this and that would already work, but I'd like to make it work so that I can use it for the live wiki as well. So that's why I only name it wiki.example.com, which will work for both instances. So the next step, the fourth step, is adding required server settings. Before we can do that, there is one step more in between, which is not described on here, which is telling your computer how to um, access this, this URL. Um, you need to add this to your etc hosts file. 
you will find this file under um, C Windows System32 Drivers ETC Hosts. With this file, you basically tell your computer where to look when it encounters this URL. And you just tell it to look at your local host with this IP address for the local host, which is 127.0.0.1. Save it. And now we can um, set up a virtual host. If you're using XM, um, you need to go to config and browse Apache, which will open the, the Apache folder. Go to conf extra, and there is a file called httpd dash v vhosts.conf. Open this file and in here you basically just need to copy and paste what's on here and change the values accordingly. So this is just the most minimalistic setup you need. Um, so this will be dev.wiki.example.com and the document root is, well, wherever um, your docker-wiki path is. So it is, in this case, c exam ht docs docker-wiki. Um, I actually use Uniform Server um, and Uniform Server has a much nicer way of doing this. You don't need to um, change any config files. You just go to server configuration, which opens a new window. There you'll go to Apache and Apache vhosts. And here you only need to add two things, document root and server name. You just select the document root, which is the Docker wiki folder. It's not the not the farm folder and not any of the animals, but the Docker wiki folder. And you add the server name. Uh, that's wrong. It was dev.wiki.example.com. Click confirm and create vhosts. Um, and this will tell you for changes to take effect, restart Apache server, which I will do right away by stopping Apache, waiting a bit and starting Apache. So all this did was basically creating exactly the same um, entry in the HTTPD vhostconf. And it should work now. Let's try. Ta-da! Our animal is ready. Yay! So, and the next and final step is to change the admin password because the animal template that you downloaded um, included one admin user with one admin password, which is the same for everything. So you need to change it right away. So you need to log in with admin and the password is admin. <laughs> Go to the admin section, user manager, and there you can click on the admin user, set a super secret password, 
and while you're here you should also change your the email address to your email address or the admin's email address um, make it a bit nicer give it your real name save changes and you're done you're now logged out again because that makes sense you just changed your password so log in again this time with your super secret password and while you're here i guess you can change configurations as, as much as you like for example this name animal wiki title it sounds a bit weird let's change that go to admin and there you have configuration settings and there the first thing is the wiki title let's call it my super cool wiki and it is your super cool wiki yay so what do you need to do to create a new animal just repeat the last three steps go to your farm directory copy the animal template folder into something else add a v host and you're basically done um now that you've you you can make all the changes to your super cool wiki and now that you will probably um want to upload it to a proper server so that other people can see your changes as well and there are only three things you need to do for that so the first thing you need to do is in the preload.php um, you remember we set the dogwiki farm directory in here but on the server it will obviously be something else so in many standard linux installations it will be something like this but um, especially on shared hosts you will probably have something completely different uh, you might see that in your ftp client you might see the the real path um, if it if you don't know the real path path you can ask your um, hosting provider um, so that's save that and when you then upload um, all of your code so basically just these two uh, folders just upload and it's done and the standard docker wiki installation will already work the animal will not quite work yet because there's one more step needed you need to create the vhost obviously also on the server and the way to do that is well it's basically the same but um many whoops many um, web hosting services have um, have um, control panels this is an example control panel of of something called cpanel which is quite popular so in here you have basically the same thing you saw me changing on uh, the uniform server interface which is the subdomain needs to be changed to well, in, in, in our example, would be wiki and the document root needs to go to the Duke wiki path. Again, the confusing bit is not the farm, not the path to the farm directory or the animal directory, but to the Duke wiki directory. And another um, popular one is Plesk. Uh, Plesk looks very similar. You just change um add your uh, subdomain name and your document root again to the duke wiki directory and that's it then um you can have fun with your hundreds of animals happy farming <laughs>